New York has nearly 30,000 restaurants with hundreds of types of cuisine. But today, we're gonna keep this simple and showcase the food that the Big Apple is most well known for. Here we go, the five foods you must try when you visit New York City. The bagel, brought to New York City by Eastern European Jews in the late 1800s, not to be confused by the Montreal-style bagel, which is smaller, sweeter, and has a larger hole in the middle. The New York City bagel is big, and everybody has their favorite spot. Murray's here in Greenwich Village is my local favorite. Let's check it out. We got our winners here. Doesn't get more traditional than everything bagel with scallion cream cheese and Nova Scotia salmon. Your classical New York City breakfast. And Murray's does it better than most. Look how big this thing is. This is a New York style bagel. Mm. What a way to start your day. Got that premium salmon, a little salty, and then the scallion cream cheese. Nice, soft, chewy bagel. You know, this could fill you up for a while. I'm just such a huge fan of the quality of Murray's bagels. If you absolutely are a huge fan of lox, I recommend going to Russ and Daughters in the Lower East Side, but I like the bagels better at Murray's. I mean, you just, you can't go wrong almost anywhere in New York. Almost any famous New York bagel spot, it, it's tough to go wrong. This is just perfection for breakfast. The bagel is so soft and so good. I think it's my favorite part, of course. I mean, everybody can make eggs, but the bagel is perfect. Cheesecake. While New York City didn't invent it, some say that we perfected it here. And the big difference between New York cheesecake and a lot of other styles of cheesecake is the cream cheese, where for Italian style you would see ricotta. We're gonna check out Eileen's special cheesecake, which is very popular in New York City. And first time I've ever actually been here before. Kind of smells like an ice cream shop in here. Before we eat this, I want to give a special thanks to the members of my Patreon for helping to support this channel. I didn't tell any of these businesses that we were coming, so your funding helps us pay for these sorts of videos. Thanks, guys. All right, so if you look at this cheesecake, this is an individual serving for just $5.25. Now, you could go to a traditional spot like Junior's and get a big slice for $9. I like this because you could just grab it and go. You don't have to go sit at a restaurant. And also, they have their own unique play on the cheesecake as they have graham cracker crust with a plain cheesecake cream cheese topping. Let's see what this, let's see what the hype's all about. Oh, it's so good. Mmm. It's got this nice creamy and tangy mix to it combined with a little graham cracker. I'll be honest, I'm not someone that normally goes out of my way to order cheesecake, but if you want to do it in New York, you want to do it interesting, go to Eileen's. Like just get one of these and go. You can get bigger ones as well, but just if you're in the Soho Nolita area, to have this while you're walking is just it's unreal. Adriana loves cheesecake, by the way. She'll be a better judge than me. I love this part. The graham cracker part? Yeah, so good. And I love the cheesecake because I don't like super sweet stuff. And I tried magnolias before and I liked it, but I thought it was too a little bit too sweet for my taste. And this is perfect. It's not super sweet, but it's, it's sweet enough for you to enjoy it. Pizza. Italy invented it, New York made it its own, and while I love a good Neapolitan pie, there's something special to me about the New York City slice. Grab and go, fold it up, always a favorite. And while there's a thousand different places you could get pizza in New York City, my choice, my favorite, is Bleecker Street Pizza, and well, I'll show you why. One cheese and one donut. I'm smiling under here, trust me. I'm very happy to be here. 
Everybody has their favorite slice in New York City. And if you watch my channel, you know how much I love this Nona Maria. It's so unique for me because it combines a lot of the best elements of the Neapolitan pie with the New York style pizza. We've got the Parmigiano Reggiano cheese, fresh mozzarella, house made tomato sauce, nice crust. You can never go wrong with this slice. So whenever I'm here, I always, always get it. So I highly recommend it for you guys out there. Such fresh ingredients on this, like every bite just makes me so happy to live in New York. This is probably one of my favorite all time things to eat in New York City. Nona Maria slice, seriously guys. Adriana prefers the classic cheese slice. I love cheese so much. It has a lot of cheese all the time. Some places have a lot of tomato with just a little bit of cheese on the top. This one is really, really, really full of cheese. So you like the cheese to sauce ratio on this slice. For you, it's perfect. Oh yeah, I love it. One bite, one bite over. More than one bite. <laughs> The hot dog was actually invented in New York City on Coney Island in 1867 by a German immigrant. It is distinctly New York City, but it's actually lost a lot of popularity. Nowadays, you can get it Japanese style, you can get it with kimchi. We're gonna hit up Papaya Dog right now. Now, this location used to be where Gray's Papaya was. It was an institution here in Greenwich Village. They closed a couple years ago. We're gonna show you Papaya Dog and get some classic New York hot dogs. This is classic as we're gonna get all beef sabret hot dog. We've got mustard, sauerkraut, and their red onion sauce. This is what these guys are known for. I will say that finding a hot dog cart in New York, dirty water dog, not as easy as it used to be. I like this spot here. I believe they're open 24 hours, only $2.50 each. Used to be a lot cheaper. I honestly don't eat hot dogs that often. Let's, let's see how this is. Let's see how this compares to Nathan's. That's not bad. I mean, all things considered for the price. I really like this red onion sauce. I've actually never had it before. But if you want to do something distinctly New York on your trip, I mean, you've got to have at least one hot dog somewhere. You know, get it from a cart, get it from a papaya dog, get it from Gray's papaya somewhere, but I mean, you got to try this. I like it more and more. The more I eat it, the more I like it. The deli sandwich. This is something that New York City does better than anywhere in the world. And if there's just one thing you must try in New York that makes it special, it's gotta be a pastrami or a corned beef sandwich on rye bread. We're gonna go to Katz's. This place is the oldest deli in the city that's still active. And well, they're world famous for a reason. Let's get in there. So this is pretty unique being in Katz's during the COVID situation. Still a long line. How are you? Can I get a pastrami sandwich on rye? Guys, check out this massive half of pastrami sandwich from Katz's. I've never eaten it before outside on a park bench, but we're living in strange times right now. And you've got the, the classic rye bread, smothered it in mustard, thinly sliced pastrami. As I said in the intro, this is something that New York really does better than anywhere else in the entire world. That classical Jewish deli sandwich. All right. See, it's so thin, you just... Oh, that's it right there. But you need that bite with the bread, the mustard, and the pastrami. That's what I'm looking for. Katz's just has this great consistency to it that whenever you go there, you know it's gonna be quality. 
I will say that Katz's is not my favorite pastrami sandwich in New York City. What I like about the experience as a tourist is you get to go in there, they give you a sample, they'll slice it right in front of you. For the absolute best pastrami sandwich, go to Sarge's. Katz's is good though because of its location here in the Lower East Side. There's a lot of other tourist attractions you can do nearby. So it's definitely worth at least one visit. It's just very uh, smoky and crisp when you take each bite. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and a nice mix of both of them. It's just a, a really good go-to sandwich when you're hungry and you really want that kind of New York Jewish style sandwich experience. But seriously, this is something you must try in New York City, no matter what deli it is. Pastrami, corned beef, on rye. Can't go wrong.